Twas the night before Christmas, and at the North Pole, Kris Kringle was worried and tough to console. He'd wrapped the kids' presents, not one had he missed, but he'd forgotten his wife on his own Christmas list. Mrs. Claus was so picky, with color sizes and all, he'd be in hot water if he dropped the ball. As St. Nick grew most frantic, a wee voice did he hear. There's one gift dear Santa guaranteed to spread cheer, and one need not worry about the wrong share to fit. A town school mall gift certificate is always a hit. Season's greetings from Town Square Mall. Want to star in your own rock video? Enter our Money Rocks video contest. Tell us why you think Money Rocks at Heritage Federal Credit Union and you could win one of three iPod Nanos. You gotta hurry though, contest ends April 30th. Brought to you by Heritage Federal Credit Union. Well, here it is, my friends. Baumberger's Furniture has now entered the final phase of their historic going out of business sale and total liquidation. We've already had some offers on the building. This building is for sale. We are selling furniture like never before at an unbeatable going out of business price. Baumberger's, what a name. Going away forever in the final phase means your time is running out and selection is virtually changing every single day. For best selection, you need to get to Baumberger's on East Morgan next to Rural King right now. We are going out of business. It's the final phase. On October 25, 1792, Jean Jugon was born in the small fishing village of Cancal in the Brittany region of France. Born into a poor family, Jean learned the effects of poverty and hardship early in life. At only three and a half, Jean lost her father at sea. At an early age, she began to work in the homes of people in the community. This is where she began to witness the hardships of the aged poor whom she would later come to serve. Soon after, there was an increasing number of aged poor to care for, and more women to help Jean. Jean opened more homes across France during these years. As she brought in the aged poor, she went out into the community with a basket to beg for their needs. This is still practiced in the homes today. Sister Anna Marie and Sister Andrew go to businesses seeking food and monetary donations. Jean always had an absolute certainty in divine providence that God would never forget about the needs of his poor. The sisters also take their needs to the congregation's protector, St. Joseph. All little sisters carry a small statue of him in their pockets at all times. We really need something and it just comes in. And that is a miracle and yet that happened in her time. Bassmeyers and CBS 44 want you to barbecue with the ultimate smoker, win a big green egg from Bassmeyer, and cook with the most extraordinary grill around, plus win drinks from RC and a gift card for food. Register right now at WEBV.com.